Does an hourglass weigh more when the sand's at the bottom versus when it's at the top? If you said no, then why does this happen? When the sand is on the bottom, it easily sinks. Now flip it over so the sand is on the top. You can see that it floats. But now watch what happens when we let the sand fall to the bottom. After some of the sand falls to the bottom, it sinks. Okay, when the sand is at the bottom, we get 12.76 grams. Now when the sand is at the top, we also get 12.76 grams. So the reason this is happening is because when the sand's at the top, it wants to flip over. So if you have it in a skinny tube, it'll try to flip over and push against the side of the tube, and the friction will make it not be able to sink. But once some of the sand moves to the bottom, it doesn't try to flip as much anymore, so it doesn't push against the side, so it just drops straight down.